Hi there, this is Johnny Miller from Point Blank Online Music School. Back once more to show you uh, some cool tricks with Ableton Live 8 and sounds and samples from clickproduce.com. Uh, today, in this tutorial, I'm going to explain to you how to extract groove from audio um, to give your uh, programmed MIDI elements in your tracks a little bit more swing uh, to match up with the uh, swing and feel that you have on your audio loops. It's quite a cool trick. I'm going to use this uh, pack here by Delectable Records called Minimal Tech Grooves 1. And um, this is a really nice little library, actually. Once more, we have a, a folder of Rex files for Reason users and WAV files uh, for your other software packages. And um, just in here, three main folders, uh, a folder of effects. And these are quite long, sweeping, ambient bits and bobs that you can put in the background of your track, use for build and uh, crescendos, etc. And um, if I come out of here, we've got a folder of loops. And uh, these are all different types of loops, full grooves, which are your full kind of drums and percussion, all the way through to bass free hat loops and uh, minimal tops which are kind of little bits of percussion all have that kind of classic minimal swing to them some really useful little bits to play with here but I think my favorite uh, element of this library in particular are the vocal tops and the vocal samples that we've got and all the reproduction of all the sounds here is all very very high quality They've used a lot of really nice hardware outboards, effects units and EQ and compressors to process all these sounds, uh, bundling them up inside the library. And uh, once more here as well, we've got these little vocal cuts. And these are just, again, a lot of the same vocals, but just broken down into little individual hits. And this kind of thing is priceless, really. Well, sounds like they're all from like old sort of 40s movies and 40s jazz records, um, which, you know, alongside uh, your electronic music at the moment is quite a trendy sound. So uh, I really like them. I've put together a little sketch with some sounds from the Minimal Tech Grooves sound library and uh, starting off with an effects loop. And this is just with a simple delay on it, just so I've got something kind of sweeping around in the background. I've added to that a kick loop and a little percussion loop. Now one thing I like about this percussion loop is it adds a definite sense of swing to this beat. And it's all down to where these little hits actually are playing within the bar. It gives quite a unique rhythmic sense to the track so far. And um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna extract the positioning of these notes inside this, this loop. I'm going to extract it as a groove template and, a, and assign that groove template to a little MIDI part here that I've set up. And at the moment, if I just solo this, this is just a, a little 8-bit synth sound from the Minimal Tech Grooves library. And I programmed it up just to play a little pattern, simple pattern. I can work on the tune later in the actual melody, but I want to look at the groove right now. Um, so I'm going to extract the groove from here, uh, the different placements of all these notes, and then assign that to this MIDI clip. So all I need to do here is just right click uh, inside the percussion loop and just hit extract grooves. Now Live is looking at where all those different drum hits are and putting it into a groove template for me. If I go into Live's groove pool now, there it is. And uh, all I need to do is go into the MIDI clip and assign that groove to this MIDI clip. Now down here on the left, we've got the groove menu. And if I click in there, there's my groove ready to go. And uh, if I play this, as I add the groove, you can hear the rhythm change. Let me undo that. And I'm gonna put the percussion loop on as well. So it sounds all right at the moment, but if I add the groove, It snaps in perfect place with the percussion loop. Now I'm gonna hit the commit button here. And what you'll see is these little notes, these MIDI notes inside this clip, just move to the position that the groove template is dictating. So now you can see here, this note here, this note here, and this note here, have all been moved in, into place with the percussion hits that are playing here. So this one, 
This is uh, just after 1.14. So if we go into the synth hit and look in the same place, 1.14, there's the note. So the groove template from the percussion loop has moved this MIDI note forward until it plays at the same time as this percussion note here. And it's just glued them together. Now I can always go in, for instance, and clean a few things up, like for instance this note here. I'm just going to move that with my arrow key. Or just get rid of it. If there's any notes that I think are sounding a little bit too heavily swung. That's nice, I've kind of edited that down a bit now. So I'm just playing with the filter on Simpler. Just thinking about how I could use this in a track. But that synth hit now, rhythmically, is in perfect sync with the percussion loop. If I just take off the kick and the effects loop again, you can really hear it now. Okay, you can learn loads more cool stuff like this uh, at pointblankonline.net and I'll be back again next week to show you some cool tricks with Ableton Live 8 and sounds and samples from clickproduce.com. Peace. Bye. <laughs>